five things today. I'm going to give you the five things. Dog. Today I'm going to be talking about the five things that we spent money on that are actually saving us money. And all five of these things are from the kitchen. What up guys? It's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going over five things that I have spent money on over like the history of my life that I love that actually save us money. So today I am going to go over each one of those five things and some of them are actually a couple of things jammed into one. So let's jump on in. The first thing are these Sistema little sandwiches which things for Melina. See, I had these little stickers printed. They say return to Melina. And Melina uses these for her lunch. And now I know a ton of people use Sistema for lunches. And here's why it saves us money. Melina is a Lunchables addict. She lives, eats, and breathes Lunchables. She is the most redonkulously picky eater ever in the history of a child. She eats like seven things, I think. Which actually, I know a kid that only eats like two. So I, I guess in the relative scheme of things, she's, she's a little bit easier. But these are amazing because I use... These, and these are silicone baking cups, see? It's just like a, a silicone cupcake liner, food grade. I use these and I put four of them into her Sistema lunch thing. And it makes a do-it-yourself lunchable. Now, sometimes I'll actually only put two or three. Like if I'm doing like a chicken nuggets lunchable, I might put five chicken nuggets here with a packet of ketchup or something like that. But these things, it gives Melina the feel of lunchables without the cost of lunchables because lunchables are crazy expensive. So this, I mean, I think one Lunchable costs like $3.75 and I can do these Lunchables for under, way under a dollar a piece. Cause I get, one of the things she will eat is chicken nuggets. So I get the pre-cooked frozen from Costco, like a huge bag and I can make like a million. <laughs> I think there must be like 200 chicken nuggets in one of those things. They last forever. So I do that and I sometimes I'll do like a quesadilla chopped up or a piece of pizza chopped up or macaroni and cheese you know, whatever the food of the day that she'll eat. And then in the other cups, I try and put like a vegetable or fruit, sometimes a cookie. It depends on how nutritious the rest of her lunch components are. So the next thing are, I bought these, y'all will remember these. I bought these ball jar lids. Okay. And they are just a food grade silicone lid that goes on the ball jars. And these things are amazingly tight sealed. They are completely leak proof. You can hold them upside down. They will not leak. What was happening is with the regular ball jar lids, I find after I wash them, I like to wash and sanitize them in the dishwasher, they would start to rust. And these don't rust and they don't get old, they don't crack and they are amazingly leak proof. So they're perfect for, I use them for food storage in the fridge. And if I'm doing a salad for lunch, I'll actually layer the salad in the ball jar and take a bowl and dump it in and you know, I can shake it up or whatever. These are great to take soups to work. I use these all the time. So by having a lid that I don't have to replace every couple of months, it actually has saved me quite a bit of money since I bought them because I haven't bought any other lids. These are going to last forever and I have them in the wide mouth and the, the regular jars. The next thing that we've purchased that saves us money, this is number three, are drink containers. Now we are Thermos brand fanatics. Every drink container we buy pretty much that is for traveling or walking around is a thermos. 
And these we use for coffee. I use for my famous hot tea that Mauricio hates. And these are completely leak proof. See, this actually has coffee in it, see? I have never been more impressed with a company than Thermos. They stand behind their products. We actually have some other vacuum sealed coffee containers that we brought like six or seven years ago and we still use them. And one of the, the leak proof things was not working very well and it was starting to leak and I contacted Thermos about replacing it, um, buying the part that needed to be replaced and they told me to send it in and they'd fix it. And they ended up giving us a whole new Thermos container for free. They didn't charge us anything. It was back to us in a week. I, I just, after that point, for me, if you have a customer service program like that and you stand behind your products, I'm going to support your company. So um, we also bought these and that these are the reason you don't see Mauricio's ridiculously expensive smoothies anymore because we have downloaded recipes off the net for some of his favorite smoothies and we make our smoothies at home and we take them to work and yeah if he's not buying seven dollar smoothies every day that's gonna save us a lot of money and actually I drink these I he'll make me a smoothie a couple of times a week I I eat tend toward like the green smoothie. I like spinach and celery and basil and with pineapple. But when I finish that, I fill it up with ice and water and I end up drinking like two or three of these a day. Sometimes I put tea in there with ice. It keeps it cold. These things will stay cold forever. I think they're probably along the lines of the Yeti cup. But, and then I did buy these straws also because I'll admit, Melina and I both have a tendency to chew on straws, and it makes Mauricio really mad when we chew on the smoothie straws. So these straws have this cool little silicone tip, and they stay in place with these little silicone things here. It holds it in place so you can hear it jingling around. And I love these. I mean, I drink so much more water now because of these things, because it's just always like ice cold. And the straw, even I can't chew on the straw on top of that. Like these will protect my teeth if I start to chew on the straw, which is pretty awesome. But the straw actually gets super cold too. And that is just cool to me. So the next one is also a, a storage thing. There's a lot of storage things in there. These, and y'all may remember I bought these at the beginning of the school year last year. And oh my goodness, I love them. They are so worth the money. They are pricey though, I will tell you. These are two different brands. And everything I'll link down below in, in case you want to like see the current price on them and, and whatever. This one is a Velcro. Oh, chip. <laughs> There's a chip in here. Apparently I didn't wash that one very well. But these, both of these, you just throw the food directly in the container. These are Ziploc bag replacements. And this one is Velcro. And then this kind has a zipper. And this one, like, sometimes we will put um, her pudding with a spoon. And these always make it back home why and because again they have her little name on them so i always get my spoons back i always get my containers back and these things are amazing you can throw carrots in there with a little thing of hummus or whatever melina doesn't need hummus but i could do it since we do this we don't have to pack ziploc bags for Melina's lunches and these are super easy and they just go in anywhere and I'm just really pleased with these. And then the fifth thing that we've purchased are these. Our Pyrex dishes and I know I've talked about these before. I love these. Okay, one thing y'all need to know about me is things have to match. Like I have issues. I might, might have mental 
problems. <laughs> um, they have to match. So like all of these things have to be able to stack in the freezer. And what I do is for Mauricio's lunches, every night at dinner, if we have any leftovers, I'll pack it up in a lunch and I will label it with what it is here on the tape most of the time. A lot of times I forget, but I do try and label it so he does know what's in there. And then I'll put it in the freezer. And then when it's time for him to eat dinner, he will just go into the freezer and read the end and pick out whatever he wants and put it in his lunch. And then it'll just thaw during the day. And then when it's lunchtime, he pops it in the microwave and heats it up. And I do the same for me, but I use these taking my lunch to work. I mean, it easily has to save us. Let me do the math really quickly. When we go out to lunch, it's 12 to $15. So let's say $12 a day. So that's $60 a week for lunches that I'm not spending on me and $60 a week for lunches on Mauricio. And a lot of my coworkers go out to lunch every single day, $12 a day. That is $120 a week. We use these so much. I've actually, I bought more over time so I could have more in the freezer so he can have a little variety. It's a huge money saver. I mean, huge. So I'm going to do the math for you. This is how much we save by making our own Lunchables at home. And then this is how much I save every two months because that's about how often I was replacing the lids on the ball jars. This is how much we save by taking our coffee to work every day. And this is how much we save by taking smoothies. And I'm only going to do that for Mauricio because I don't, I never had a smoothie addiction. And then this is how much I save every month on Ziploc baggies. Plus how much I save every month by not going out to lunch. And this is how much I save every month total just from these five things compared to how much I spent I'm saving a lot of money yeah totally worth it in my book so I'll see you in the next one see ya we're out